so lift the leg up and don't let it push it down. The hip dysplasia is a mechanical problem of the hip. The hip socket or the acetabulum is too shallow. So mechanically, there's too much stress in the joint that leads to uh, labral damage, cartilage damage, and eventually osteoarthritis. There are two types of hip dysplasia people think. Uh, there's one type that presents in infancy, uh, but there's also a type that usually presents in adolescence. The Child and Young Adult Hip Preservation Program at Boston Children's Hospital is the oldest of its kind. We treat any patient from infants to adults. We use any surgical techniques, including arthroscopy, osteotomies, uh, to try and treat the painful hip. And it's a fairly complex surgery, so if you have it done by someone that doesn't do it very often, the complication rates can be high. We have a lot of experience in this area. We also have very much a team approach. When you come to see us, you're not just going to get surgery, you'll get a comprehensive assessment. We start with basic x-rays, and then we have a special MRI technique to look at early arthritis in the hip joint. In addition, uh, we do a lot of diagnostic studies to make sure that the structural problem is the cause of your pain. Some of these patients have not gotten the right diagnosis, sometimes for up to three to four years. So we try to help them manage their chronic nature of their pain. Uh, we also help them connect with other patients that had a surgery before because a lot of them have uh, apprehension about the magnitude of the surgery that they're about to undergo. You're admitted the same day as a surgery. Surgery takes about three hours, uh, and then you're probably in the hospital somewhere between two and four days. People are usually on crutches for at least a month, uh, up to two months, depending on how quickly you heal, and then physical therapy after that. They may be able to return to their normal uh, activities, maybe even including athletics, uh, usually around four months or so. We have a very long history of doing osteotomies in both adults and children. We do a lot of research in trying to understand uh, how to do the surgery more safely, how to uh, try to understand what is truly happening in these joints uh, after our surgeries. I feel that we truly deliver a very excellent quality of care. We have shown that up to 90% of patients' pain is relieved, and also we have shown that a lot of them can return to athletics uh, that they were uh, used to doing before the surgery and I would say the vast majority of our patients are quite happy and satisfied.